Saudi Arabia has implemented an electronic tracking system for women. As you know, Lewis, women must be tracked at all times. You must be aware of where your women are at any time because they could be getting into all sorts of trouble because, after all, they are women. Of course. Um, this, is, this is essential. This seems to be the logic in Saudi Arabia. Just another example of how Saudi Arabia is way ahead of the curve. Why don't we have this here? <laughs> women are denied the right to travel without consent from their male guardians in Saudi Arabia. They are also banned from driving. And women in Saudi Arabia are now monitored by an electronic system that tracks any cross-border movement. Since last week, Saudi women's male guardians have been, uh, started getting text messages on their phones, informing them when women under their custody leave the country, even if they're traveling together. Okay. Okay. Uh, Manal al-Sharif, who became the symbol of a campaign urging Saudi women to defy the driving ban, which we covered on the show, Yes. or the bonus show, I don't remember, started spreading this information on Twitter after she was alerted by a couple. This is just unbelievable. The authorities are using technology to monitor women. I actually think that they need to go even further. Uh, why not a, uh, this system is very, is technologically obsolete. You need a microchip in the woman so that it's completely automated. It's not based on uh, custom swarms or anything of the sort. Right. Uh, now, the alert happens when they leave the country? Right. I mean, isn't it too late by then? Uh, well, the, it's simply to make, so in other words, they have to have permission. So this is like a, it's like a safety where the man will get a text. So then if he says, wait a second, I never gave permission, then there would be some suggestion that maybe the document was forged or something of the sort. But yeah, then they'd be out of the country. Maybe it's too late. Right, right. Or if they leave the country through unconventional means, then it would still go completely under the radar. Is that, is that what's happening? Right, because there's no, they're not microchipped. Those. Right. Women need to be microchipped That's to it. really be accurate. That's it. This is a truly though. This is a cautionary tale for the for the United States because the religious right in the U.S. essentially wants a Christian version of Sharia law. This is all done under the guise of Sharia law. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Natan? What really we need to be taking from this, rather than just saying how backwards it is? Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, I just think it's a shame that oil can't run out sooner in Saudi Arabia. Because I think all of this would go away pretty quickly if that happened. A lot of problems. Would, a lot of things would change if the oil ran out in Saudi Arabia, both in terms of American alternative energy development and a lot of the stuff that's going on. Uh, unfortunately, I think things would get worse if the oil ran out in Saudi Arabia. You think Arabia. so? I think so. Yeah. Well, that's a story for another day. All right. Okay.